Something on your mind, Cisco? No. Yes. How did you uh, fit your reverse flash suit into that little ring? Is it some sort of compressed microtech? Or actually, forget it. I don't care. Maybe a little. Ronnie's right. I should have accounted for the temporal shearing. Glad we're still good for something. I never underestimated your contribution, Cisco. Or Ronnie. Matter of fact, do you know how many times I wish you were there with me as I rebuilt the accelerator? It would have been a lot more fun. Yeah? Well, doesn't change the fact that your nifty little time sphere... Oh, is that what you're calling it? Whatever it's called. It's gonna blow. Now if you cement the tiles with a cobalt resin, that'll prevent degradation in conditions of extreme heat. Okay, fine, we'll try that. That's it? That's all? Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know, Cisco. If I thought that of anyone, you'd be a little more understanding of my predicament. I don't belong here. These barbaric times. It's like living amongst the dead. Is that what you told yourself? When you killed me? What? What did you say? It was an alternate timeline. One that Barry reset. But I never forgot it. I just kept coming back to me. And I can still picture the way you looked at me when you called me a son. And you crushed my heart with your fist. This is good. I'm sorry. Cam. Yeah. It sucked. And yeah, not for killing you. I'm sure I had a good reason. I'm sorry for the fact that you're able to retain traces of another timeline. You're able to see through the vibrations of the universe. It means I wasn't sure until just now. Sure of what? The night the particle accelerator exploded. You were affected too. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. I wasn't. Don't be afraid, Cisco. A great and honorable destiny awaits you now. I only hope that as you're living your great adventure, that you remember who gave you that life and that it was given out of love.